Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining me today. In this first clip, we've got a front desk employee at a hotel harassing some of her guests. Take a look at this. We have until okay. 10 because what? Because I'm asking to get in the room. You're not even registered Okay, yet. you're you're asking to get in the room because of what? Because the hallway smells like smoke. And it's us? It's right around this area. Okay, does that mean it's us? Can you put the camera down? No, here? because you're harassing. I'm not you knocked on the door multiple times. I said, please come back. Yeah. I'm feeding my son. Please leave us alone. If you're the front desk lady, call us on the phone. I'm praising God. I don't need you. I don't like. I'm praising God. That okay, you thank out you. Of my hotel. Really? What do you mean by you need to check out of my hotel? Sorry, lady. It's not your hotel. You just walk there. We will check out at 11, ma'am. We didn't do nothing wrong, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, then you better start getting ready. Okay, thank you very much, ma'am. You're welcome. God bless you. After watching this clip, do you think this front desk employee was doing her job? Or she was just doing too much? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Please take your time to watch this clip of a guy complaining that his wife should have had his food ready before he gets back home from work. Take a look at this drama. So you mean to tell me I just pulled a 13 hour shift And I ain't got no food to come on to? Huh? Why well, you need to get something on your way home? Why y'all just going for your raggedy cousin? Look, I just pulled a 13 hour shift. You being my wife, I pay all the bills in here. All the dishes clean, your clothes clean. Wait, what? You, you, don't, you don't fix me no lunch for my, for, for my job. You eat? You work from home. Okay, I I can't come home to a full course this meal. Is that was that I had from last night. But I'm saying I I can't come home to a Why full course you? meal. What what we married for? What we married for? I'm not your mama. I'm your wife. Whoa. Okay then, dude. She said, "I'm not your mama. I'm your wife." Keep watching. Your clothes, clean your clothes. You always got to clean clothes when you go to work, don't you? Can you stop recording me? I can't come home to a full cost meal. Working all these long goddamn hours, I can't come home to a full cost meal. What? A full course meal? Mind you, she also works from home takes care of the kids and cleans but you're complaining about a full course meal be for real man oh uh, i just knew i was gonna come home and have have some food on the goddamn stove hmm. and now you playing man you playing you, you playing well you, you playing what the hell we get married for what Bro, what are you talking about, man? You've been doing this for like two or three months, man. What is it? I can't get no food when I come to the house. You don't even you don't even you don't even tell me to have a good day when I leave out the house. Did you have a good day today? <laughs> Shit, man, I'm tired of this, man. You over here eating pizza? Yeah. You ain't you ain't called me all goddamn day since I've been at work. Damn, can't come home to a, I, I make sure the kids good. They got school clothes, right? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. and they you eat. good, right? And they eat. I pay the goddamn car notes, right? But why the why the man in the house can't eat? 
Why I can't come on? I bet they, I, I bet they ate today. They did eat today. They eat every day. They sure do. They eat every day. They're supposed to eat. Every because day. of who? Why your bank account got money in it? Why your bank account got money in it? What you mean? Why my bank account got money in it? Why would because you able to keep your money from your job. You don't pay no goddamn bill. I pay the car notes, the house notes. Every sport they in, I pay for it. Family trips, I'm paying for it. That's what you're supposed to do. Man, you know what? Provide and protect. Provide and protect. That's what you're supposed to do. Why the I can't get no food in the house then? Huh? You're I got to cook my own goddamn food? You finna make me cook my own goddamn food? You could have got something on your way home. You yeah, work. I'm at home all the time. Work. Yeah, I work from home, but I wash the dishes, I clean the clothes, your children clothes, they taken care of. I don't understand why you complaining. In my opinion, I think the wife is a selfish one. Because... If you're working from home and you get to keep your income, you're not paying any bills. I think the right thing to do is to at least make something for your man to eat before he gets home from work. That's just me. Up next, we've got a police officer on a serious power trip. Take a look at this. You understand me? Yes, I understand. Okay, so stop it with your mouth. Okay. Stop it with your for what, sir? For okay. what, sir? Okay. Stop it with that bull. Okay. And realize the three vehicle and traffic law violations you committed. Okay. Okay. Do you understand me? Yes, I, I don't understand. know what planet you think I'm you're not, on right now. I'm, I'm not planning, sir. I'm here. Planning? I said planet. I said, I said I'm not planet. Any, yeah, I'm not any planet. Am I the only one that thinks this officer? Woke up on the wrong side of the bed that fateful day. Keep watching. That sucks. Sorry about that. I picked the wrong guy. Okay, okay, obviously. Pull over five feet. You understand me? Pull over. <laughs> oh my god. I have this on video in case you want to. You have? Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. In case you need to submit it to yeah. someone. Thank you so much. Yeah, send me your email. I'll send it to you. Okay. I'll give you my card. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. No, that's crazy. That's, that's really inappropriate. That's abuse of power, obviously. Because he was there. No, it's uh, it's no, not your it's fault. Listen, it's not your it's fault. Yeah. It's. Uh, this guy's just. Yeah. <laughs> to put it mildly. I mean, he shouldn't be slamming your car. Or yeah, just, he shouldn't be slamming your car door. He shouldn't be he right throwing door. things yeah. around. He doesn't have a right to open your door. Yeah. Like, he's... he's. I don't think he could have really arrested you. I don't <laughs> you weren't under arrest. I think he's just on, on a power trip right now. Because yeah. he honked at him. Because he honked. Because he, he didn't have a blinker on. No. I mean, if you're going to park, you're supposed to put your blinker on. That's the way this works. That's why I'm saying. No, no, I know. Yeah, but, you know. I know. I, yeah, I, I know. would just not say anything. Don't say anything. Just, just you're going to be. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. That's it. Now, let me tell you something. The next time you do it again. Okay. You're getting your... Okay, what? You're going to let me finish? Stop, I'm... Stop interrupting me. Okay. Apologize. I'm sorry. Well, who do you think you're talking to here? Sir, I'm not saying nothing. Said, no, every oh, time I open my mouth, you have something to say. When you're driving up my house, when I'm trying to park the car, and then you have to do something with your hands. Sir, I just say... I don't okay. care what you okay. have to say. Okay. Do you understand that? Yeah, I understand. People are allowed to park in this car, okay. park their cars okay. on the side of the street without your interference. Okay, and then your opinion about what's going on. Okay, sir. Okay? Apologies. Especially when the person you're doing it to are the police. Okay, sir. I don't know where you where you're coming from, or I'm where you think Pakistan. you're appropriate in doing that. Okay, that doesn't. It's not the way it works. Okay, how long have you been in this country? Almost two years. Almost how long? Two years. Two years. I got news for you, and use this lesson. Remember this in the future. Don't ever do that again. Okay. The only reason you're not in handcuffs, going to jail, and getting summonses in the precinct is because I have things to do. Okay. That's the only reason that's not happening. Because this isn't important enough for me. You're not important enough. 
Don't ever do that again. Okay. Do you, are you a fair? Yes. You're a fair? Yes. And this guy is taking time out of your day for his vehicle and traffic violations. Sure. Thank you. Can you take that plate number, please? I have his plate. Oh, thank you so much. Now, that officer's behavior was outrageous and insane. The passengers, on the other hand, were awesome. They stood up for the driver. That was totally cool. You all won't believe this. This mother dropped off her children at her mother's house because she claims she doesn't want to be a mother anymore and the reason is a newly found boyfriend doesn't want kids take a look at this nonsense hey babies wait don't, don't go on the health check why not hey listen go on to the just go sit on the porch hey listen what do you think you're doing i'm dropping them off for good listen I met a younger guy, and oh he don't want no God. kids, and oh he don't want to, listen, he don't want to deal with them. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. And so I'm dropping these kids off so me and him can live our life. We want to travel, we want to explore the world, and I can't do that with kids. Oh I can't. I cannot believe. It's time for me to be happy, and I just want to be happy and stress-free without these children. That's all I want. Then you should ask me, baby. I shouldn't have asked. You are the grandparent. Is this woman for real? Hello? You are their mother. Keep watching. It's respect, Angel. It's respect. Well, I hope that you respect my decision on moving on with my life with my new man and no kids. I'm not raising your kids. Well, I'm not either. Well, I, I don't know what to tell you because I'm not doing it. I'm just letting you know right now I'm not doing it. These are your three tired, kids. I'm tired. I'm tired of being a single parent. I'm tired. But to lay down and make the decision to have three kids, that is not my responsibility. And this is the last time you're going to do this. You're not doing it anymore. It's your responsibility, not mine. Well, it wasn't. It, it was not my plan to be no single parent. Well, it's not my plan to be a grandmother that's going to take care of somebody's three kids because they feel like they're not responsible anymore, that they don't want to be a mother anymore either. Well, look, I, I just can't. I can't do this no more. I'm tired. I'm overwhelmed. I'm stressed. It's depressing. I can't do it. But you're going to have to do it. Do you understand that you're going to have to do this? Well, I don't want to. I can't. Be, I can't. Do you understand that I'm not going to take care of your children? I'm not getting ready to raise three kids. Look, do you know how old I you never oh taught me God. how to be a mom. You didn't tell me what to do. You didn't help me. So now it's your turn. You take your grandkids so I can live my life stress-free. Can you all imagine this? Gaslighting and blaming her mother and everyone else instead of blaming herself. Keep watching. Okay, but the reason that I could not teach you how to be a mother, Angel, is because I was working a full-time job. That's not my problem. I, I cannot. I'm not. Just hear me out when I say I'm not, not going to take That's care of your three kids that you had because you're disrespectful. You just come over here and just drop them off. I have to ask you to watch your grandchildren. No, you're not talking about watching. You just told me I was going to have to raise them. I have to ask you to raise your grandchildren. Oh, my God. They're your grandchildren. Oh, it's my your responsibility. I can't even believe I'm hearing this from you right now. I cannot believe that you actually think that I'm supposed to say it's okay, that I'm just going to just give up my life, my freedom, to raise three kids that are not even mine. I raised you all, and that's all I'm going to do. I'm not, ra I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So you can forget that. I'm not doing it. Way to go, Grandma. It's definitely not your responsibility to raise her children. Unbelievable. You don't mind, mm -hmm. I can just drive off, you raise your grandchildren, you can do it better than I can. I can't do it. 
I want you to hear me when I say this. I hear you, but I, I am not raising your three kids. I am not keeping them today. I'm not keeping them tomorrow. Matter of fact, this is all your responsibility from this point on. You should have thought about that after you had the first one, and then the second one, and then you, now you got three. Hey, girl, bye. You I'm, had three. I'm, 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 yeah, well, and I raised all three of y'all. You did not. Yes, I did. You, you had everything that you wanted. I was right there to teach and instill you. I don't even know where this attitude is coming from. I didn't raise you like this, Angel. Okay, well, listen. Being a single parent will make you angry, mad, upset, and stressed, and everything above, and I am tired. Wow. Do you know the worst thing is that she said all this right in front of those children? And I know that they will remember this their whole life this is sad keep watching but you cannot come over here and drop those children off and think that i'm supposed to say yes i'm gonna do it because i'm not now uh, look uh, hey, hey. Yeah, there's no point of you telling them to get back in the car because they're not coming uh, i'm not they're not coming come, come no nope. you know come on and get in this car they're not coming. I'm, I'm, I'm not. For what? Hey, what is the point of them getting in the back in the car? I'm, I'm not. I'm well, not. I'm not either, so. Yeah, get in, get in the car. Here. Oh, my God. Come on, here. Get in the car. Grandma loves you. All right, and I'll see you later. Uh -huh. hey, Angel, um, uh-uh. Yeah, talking. We're done. You can go now. You can go now. Go on and pull off. I don't know what you're sitting here for. Out. Don't get, get out. out Don't car. get out. What? What in the world? Get out. Hey, 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 look. Oh my god. Yeah, get out. Hey, 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 Angel. Hey, Angel, what? What is. No, this chick did. Oh my god. She actually left. I am really, this chick just left. Now these children are going in the house. Oh my God. Oh man, this is heartbreaking. But let's just say you are the grandmother. After watching this clip, what would you have done? Probably you would have called the cops to report her for abandoning her children. Let me know in the comment section. In this next clip, her lady gets mad at an Amazon driver for not ringing her doorbell after delivery. But guess what? You will not believe who she threatened to call to report the driver. Take a look. Excuse me? Yeah. Is there some reason that you didn't follow the instructions? Uh, ma'am, can I just do my job? I'm sorry, like, I'm just trying to like, finish my work. I'll read it next time, I promise, but... Well, no, the instructions are always the same, to knock or ring the bell. Sorry. And you never follow them. I'm just curious why. So, no answer. Okay, I'll be sure to let the CEO know that that's your answer. Although the driver was wrong for not following the instructions given regarding delivery of her staff, but threatening to call the CEO for this, I think that is ridiculous. Finally, for this video, a woman refuses to let her boyfriend go pursue his music career. Take a look at this. Man, you know this recording, man. Right, because I need uh, you to say what you just said on camera. You put that 
I'm I need you to say what you just said. Where are you going? What's, what's going on? <laughs> I'm going to Atlanta. I'm going to For move. what? For my career, my music career. Did I not? <sighs> no. No, 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 no. I... You've been here this whole time. I come home every single day. I hold you down every single day. I'm working, making sure the bills pay. You ain't held down no job. How do you get money to go out of town? I'm not going because I'm, <laughs> I'm moving with a friend, man. What friend? Because all Danny. your friends are here. My, my friend Danny. And who is Danny? Danny, you met Danny before. I ain't never met no Danny. Definitely met Danny. Danny, you going to you going to be at some house, Danny? I'm not being in no. Who the friend, dang is? A friend of mine that who helps who is a supporter. Oh, of my some music. pop up friend that I never met before. You yeah. leaving out of town? You been here this whole time. If you were gonna leave, I'm, you could have left I'm some not, months ago. I'm not leaving you. I'm just going out there for. Business. You're leaving to go out of town, and I'm you not, haven't done anything look, other than rap all this time. I've been here holding you down, supporting you, and you could, if anything, you should be taking me. You don't want it's for business. Like I'm saying, I'm not leaving you. This you've is been not a vacation. You've been not, incorporating me in all your business before. It's before now. Why is it so different now? What's so different a, this about is this? Different level of stuff that I'm dealing with. And what what is it? What's listen, the level of stuff? Okay, listen. I'm not peaceful here. I need to get out so I can so I can broaden my horizons right now. You're How not the me. Are you it's, not it's, peaceful here? What about this environment is not peaceful? I literally right I now. come here. Look, no, 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 no. Don't don't do that. Have We're not gonna to do that. We're to not gonna do that. Song? Have you listened to the last I'm not listening to what you're saying right now because you're bull out your mouth. That's the problem. If you listen, you understand I'm stressed out. I can't even do with that music because I'm stressed out right now. I'm How out. are you? I just really am trying to understand what are you stressed out about? This is new. This is new. You ain't never said nothing about you being stressed out. You haven't talked to me. I come home from listen, work. Listen. So you packing a goddamn bag. It's not. This isn't an ultimatum. Like, I have to go. Like this is business. Who said you have to go? What are you signing are some you, deal? Are, do you support? Do you support my music? Have I been supporting you this this far? Yeah. So why stop? So now? what so kind of question I'm is not, that? I'm not leaving you. I'm not leaving. You're you. leaving me to go out of town unannounced with some random. Named Danny, who I've never met. I've met all your friends. We hang, we hang out with your friends. We double date. We do, and now all of a sudden you going out of town with some Danny. It's not. I'm not going out of town with Danny. She already stayed. I'm You're staying at the house. What else? If I told you that, what would you think? It's I support you. I, you. It's not like that. That's what I'm saying. You're thinking I'm leaving you. I'm going out there strictly for business. We can still talk. We can still do all of this stuff. I just well, need I to move. I need to get out of this space. I need to get out of this. I'm about to on you because it just don't make sense. That's the you problem. You think I'm stupid. That's and I'm, I'm insulting that you even. That's the stupid. problem. Oh, my, really? I'm always spazzing. All the time. Up until the day we were okay. The little we've been arguing about is nothing. All of a sudden, you're like, I'm so stressed out. I got to go. I, I, I got to go. It's an everyday thing. My business is out there. Danny said that she can help me and she has plugs out there. It's not like I'm going to be sleeping around or nothing like that. I'm still with you. I'm just over here trying to get my business together. I can come back here and we'll have you shit together. You about to be at some random house. Again, that, if she was so important, she has so much cool, I feel like you would have been introduced me to her because I've been handling some I of your business for you. Paying for studio time and knowing everybody look, that's at the studio. I appreciate that. I and it's never popped up. Listen. So I just want to let you know, if you leave, you gone. You not about to come back here on no dog with me. I told you it's not an ultimate. I got it. I go. told you. That's yeah. good. You So you gone. You yeah, gone, right? I'm gone. I'm gone. Then go. But don't. You're not about to come back to here. I, I want you to know that. Why do you think I'm leaving you? You can go. Don't think that you about to come Look, back. Well I, well, I gotta go. I'm going to leave. What but I want you to know that I'm not trying to leave you. I'm still coming you back. You are trying. You're not. You're right. You're not trying to leave. You are leaving. Because you already well, had yeah. your pack before. If I'm leaving. I wasn't even about to come home early. I get here early to see you packing. You would already been gone. I'm going to let you know. What, I'm over the I'm phone or a text message? You know. Over the phone or a text message? I knew you would be tripping like this. Okay. Do what you want to do. I'm over it. I'm over it. After watching this clip, do you think the woman made the right decision of telling her boyfriend not to return back to the home if he leaves let me know in the comment section